Hello friends, I'm Manish and this is part 13 in which we will see how to add folders onto the form. You can see all uh, tab also. Uh, through this we will see how to manage the controls according to the tab on the form. So let's start. So let's open screen painter and open your SRA for XML as I have designed earlier it I'm opening this custom order SRF you can see and for adding tab what I will do I will add a rectangle box first and I will drag down and then shift plus down key now shift plus right arrow key you can also click on this corner and can drag yeah it's fixed and then i will add a folder one is for general tab and another one is for address So let me give some proper unique ID tab underscore zero enter give pin value make it true caption enter true and the alias we have done with it now move to the second tab the pin value will, would be 2 data bound to caption address 2 folder 2 so now we will decide which controls should come inside which tab so I am going to put matrix inside the general tab Let me give unique ID for it. Okay. Now I am going to put matrix inside the general tab. So what I will do, I will do, I will set from pin and to pin value, which is already set by default. That is one. One means general. And as you can see, here pin value 1 so we have bind matrix with a general tab as I have put it from pin and to pin value 1 so for second tab we are going to add some controls like label so I'm going to add this label and giving the caption address and meaningful unique ID and from pin and to pin value as it would be 2 because it is going to visible inside the address so put here 2 enter control s and going to take one more control static text box so and bind it with a table at the demo underscore ordr we have created this table earlier and the field name is u underscore address data bound equals to true and from pin value and to pin val value would be 2 because it is going to be visible inside address tab
unique id bind it with label link sorry link it with label so that it cannot flicker align these two we have done with this so we have added successfully let me preview so you can see in general tab it is only matrix and in address tab you can see let me do this properly because it is going outside the rectangle so you can see once again preview now you can see so we have done with uh, screen painter now we will have to move inside the code because there we have to uh, change some property so that uh, the tab should be open properly while running the application so come to the code so after completing through the screen painter we will write some line of code inside the menu event and item event so that we can manage the controls according to the tab on the form in proper way so come inside the menu event and then go to load form and here we will add two lines of code one is for clicking defaultly on the tab first that is general and let me uncomment and the second line is for general tab it means that on the load of form all the controls could be visible which comes under the general as we have given the pan for general is one now come to the item event and let me show what i have done so i we will add these line of codes inside the item press event item press after event so for after event i have set the before action property as in false and then checked is it a item press event if it is i have checked the item unique id if it is tab underscore zero it means a general tab then will set the property pan level equals to one so that all the controls coming inside the general tab can be visible and if the pressed item pressed happened with the another tab which is address and which has the unique id and tab underscore one then the form dot pan level value would be two it means all the controls coming inside the address tab will be visible so we have to done these line of codes inside the item press event and now let me check after running this application so come to sap business one demo application connected successfully so you can see on load of form what general tab is being pop up and all the controls coming inside the general tab is visible so you can see let me add <coughs> sorry date <coughs> sorry item then quantity then price then warehouse we have done now we will move to the second tab which is address you can save folder also so let me put here some value Delhi so this is the numeric type now you can add it and move back you can see the data 
I think this field is not bounded with a field that's why uh, it is giving wrong value system information so check it so you can see this field is not binded what happens sometime some value from the property in SRF or XML removed so let me check inside the SRF and for this I will move to the SRF file so you can see this field has been already removed that's why the value is inside that field is not being saved so let me write the UDF control S and run the application again select business partner date warehouse now it's taking you can see you can see the value of UDF name of the UDF from here if it is bind so it is bind u underscore address you can see here put testing and now add go to the previous you can see data is ex as expected as we have done so more important thing to keep in mind while working on the folder or you can say tab is inside the XML file let me show this one what is more important to think so all unique ID should be a proper like tab 0 tab underscore 0 tab underscore 1 the same would be here and the field should be bind properly with the also from pen property and to pen property should be appropriate you can see for each control which are supposed to visible inside the tab and another thing is db data source of for the folder folder first and folder second because we will bind this data source with the folder one and folder two or you can say tab 0 or tab 1 you can see data bound property should be one alias with the DB data source you can bind as I have done and the similarly for tab underscore 1 I have bounded with the alias folder 2 so these are the main things things we need to consider for working on folder or you can say tab Thanks for watching.